Hi there. Um, I just thought I would do a little video. I've done all my chores in the morning. Um, first thing when I get up, I've got to, you know, the first thing, the first um ones that need fed is the the animals, the cats. I've got cats. I've got a dog, and um, you know, I put on YouTube and so you know if I can catch up with Fox News' latest news, I try and catch up with it. And I've just been watching about this couple. I had the, a picture in the start of this video. Now, this is the Black Lives Matter movement. This is who the Premier League um, soccer in, in Britain, England, is supporting. And um, the, the, the couple at the start of this video that you've seen with the, the guy with the gun, I was just watching an interview on Fox News. And Fox News is... is um, is a mainstream news channel, but they're they're a lot different to a lot of mainstream news channels. They really expose things and they really ask things and they they expose they've, they've been been exposing this Black Lives Matter cult since it started basically. And Tucker Carlson, I'm a big fan of him. I'm a big fan of Laura Ingraham as well, who's a very good reporter. Um, and she really asks questions that need to be asked, you know, and she, and. But 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 talking about this thing, you know, this couple at the start of this video, the reason that guy had a gun is because Black Lives Matter were threatening to kill him and his dog and his family. This is the Black Lives Matter movement, right? This is Black Lives Matter. It sounds like, yeah, Black Lives Matter, of course. Yes, all lives matter. But it's not about Black Lives. It's not about that. It's about violence. It's about destruction. It's about intimidation. They're basically a mob, a gang. And they're wimps. I saw a video yesterday on, on was it Fox News or somewhere I was watching yesterday. And this um, lassie, this this woman went squared up right up to a Black Lives Matter, you know, one of the violent people. And he was a wimp. Right? He cowered down for this lassie, right? And this lassie went right up to his face and said, come on then. And she said, these people are nothing but little boys. That's what they are. They're basically little children, right, in a gang. You take in the army, you get rid of them instantly. You don't really think that they would stand and fight against the military, do you? Take in, I say, I, what I say is take in the army and show them what violence really is. Show the, these, these, these racists, because they're racist. They get offended when you say white lives matter. They even get offended. They even call it racist when you say, David Icke was saying lately in one of his videos, that they even say it's racist to say all lives matter. That's, I don't know how that can be. But that's why this, fa this family bought that house in St. Louis. Now, I've got some um, people that I speak to in, in St. Louis. I've done for many years on Facebook. Um, and, I, and I've always felt very connected to them. I, do, I don't know, maybe it's a past life thing. Maybe I used to be an American. I don't know. I've always felt a connection with America. I don't know why. Um, and I got into, into a bunch of people on, on, on the internet um, years ago and I felt very connected to them. But the, in St. Louis is where they are and um, this is what was going on. And um. I think the thing that you need to stay safe for is not coronavirus, it's, it's these idiots. And this, but anyway, this fam, this guy came out with a gun because he bought the, this house years ago, he says. Um, I was watching an interview in Fox News and he says that he bought it, no one else wanted it, and he thought he would rebuild the home. And it's his home, right? And they, they were trying to intimidate him. They were threatening to kill him and his dog and his family. And so he did the right thing and took took out his rifle or or a machine gun, whatever it is, and and exactly you know he should he's got the right to, to do that, you know he should do that you know anyone would would you know if you're being threatened like that, um, and what Tucker Carlson is saying on Fox News, is that now the the system wants to charge them and for that for defending themselves. Um, because it's all systematic. You know, Tucker Carlson is... is um, I was even reading lately, Tucker Carlson on Fox News is the most watched person in America. Because he speaks the truth. You know, he he really exposes things, he tells the truth. I don't agree with everything he says, but you got to respect the fact that he's not like other mainstream people that he... You know, and as well as Laura Ingraham I've seen as well. 
on Fox News and them two. They, I don't think they've got the same views, but they they ask things that need to be asked and they expose things, which is um, what needs to be done. A lot of people would perceive that because all mainstream news channels, um, you got to watch, you got to be careful of them. The Fox News is the same. It's not. I even saw something that someone was saying that, I saw the post about Fox News and this person said, obviously a Fox News hater, they said, it's a cult because they criticise other other mainstream news channels, they're not a cult. They criticise other mainstream news channels because other mainstream news channels, like, for example, the BBC in the, um, the BBC in Britain, another one, Sky News and, and CNN, these people don't expose what's really happening. They cover everything up. Um... But they ever since this Black Lives Matter came out, you know, I've, the Fox News have been exposing it. My mum watches BBC News, and when they when when they when they come on, it's like a completely different news channel. It is a completely different news channel, but the it's like a different news because they're all about a narrative, right? Fox News isn't about a narrative. They're basically all about exposing what's really happening. Um, and some of them believe in vaccines and some of them are a little bit ignorant, but at least they're doing what, what news channels should be doing. And that's ask questions. And like here, like what I'm doing, I'm doing the job that, that, that all mainstream news channels should be doing, exposing what's going on in the world. That's what that's what a job of a mainstream news channel is. That's the job of a journalist, right, is to expose what's going on and what's going on to see this. Black Lives Matter movement is about destruction. It's about intimidation. It's basically little people, like I said earlier, it's little people, little children with, 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 that aren't very tough. Like like a little lassie stood up to the guy and he, and he was, you know, he didn't do nothing about it. But these people are in packs, you see, they get brave when they're in a pack. It's like if you, if you get a little dog that can't stand up for itself, you put it next to a big dog, and the little dog will stop barking. <laughs> you know, you put it next to a big German Shepherd or something. You know, the big, tough German Shepherd will, will be the front runner. But the little dog behind it will start barking as well. Right? And that's kind of like like this Black Lives Matter. Look, the sad thing about it is the original Black Lives Matter was, was like a, a unity thing. I watched this guy from the Black Lives Matter movement. The original Black Lives Matter movement, it wasn't about this. But then these idiots started getting involved. And that's what happens. It happens in Britain as well. You see some people doing good protests and then idiots get involved. You see, you know, it's, it always happens. That's why protesting is a waste of time because idiots get involved. Right? Um, and yeah, it's a great idea to all stand as one, you know, like like what Martin Luther King said. Um, and imagine what he'd be thinking looking at this Black Lives Matter cult. They're supposed to be supporting what he what he believed in, which was he all he said all men walk as one. Um, and that's what the mess the great message is all about oneness. Right, we're all basically the same. We're all just the same energy field, but in different bodies. That's it. That is it. And why all this craziness over a body? You see, it's so it's so insane. And um but as I say in my videos, if you notice, the shift this the shifted the attention from COVID to this for a reason, because people were waking up regarding the COVID. They don't want that. And this but it's it's a shame it just tells you that money can't help you. This is a guy that, that was protecting his home, back to the the couple that were protecting them home. They they had they obviously had money and thought they would buy a nice home and um and be good, decent people in the community. Um, and it didn't help them. Money means nothing, does it? You know, I'm probably safer here with 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 you know, um, not as much as them people have got, but I'm a lot safer. I mean, you know, um, here in Scotland, we don't have we don't tend to we don't have, we haven't had anything like that. Well, certainly not in in a little town, the little town that I stay in in, in Scotland. Um, but yeah, anyone that, that is unsure of Black Lives Matter, yeah, I've been watching this from the start. Um, if you want to see what it's all about, listen to me or listen to David Icke or listen to who else? London Real. 
Brian Rose, um, who else? Fox News. But you, you can't trust many mainstream news channels. But And I didn't know Fox News was decent until I started to watch them. Because I heard people saying good things about Tucker Carlson, so I started to watch them, and then I heard, look, saw Laura Ingraham, and and this, and she just she basically is very similar to Tucker Carlson in the sense that she exposes things, but they don't have the same views. But you have to respect the fact that that they expose things, and that's what I've seen Fox News do in general. Um, and it's a shame for the you know. For the, for these people that were threatened, but but good on them for defending their home and 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 right they have in my opinion, you know what else were they meant to do? But um yeah, this Black Lives Matter is a cult. Of, why do you think you want them wanting to go on one knee? That's a, a a satanic ritual of some sort. It's a bit like the Superman movie. Remember the Superman films in the seventies and eighties, when the when the demon the de the demon, super kind of powerful beings come to earth and they, and they want everyone to bow to them. That's kind of like this Black Lives Matter. It's, a, it's obviously, if anyone wants you to bow, the only, the only kind of creature or force that wants you to bow or, go, or bow before them, go on one knee or something like that, is a demonic force. It's a ritual. David Icke's been exposing this as well, saying that so it's, a, it's a ritual that's going on. And the, and the sheeple are so stupid that they, they just do it. And the way the sheeple are, it's a bit like when you watch the football and they take a knee before the kickoff, the soccer. Um, they take a knee and, and, they, and the sheeple keep each other in check, you see, in line. That's how, this, that's how society is orchestrated. They do it because, because most people are scared to not conform, right? I've, I've spent my entire life not conforming. So it's easy for me. I've spent my entire life being a loner so it's it's not really so a lot of people find it strange in lockdown it's it's normal to me <laughs> it's normal um but but back to this um black lives matter movement this cult that's what it is and um it's 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 and, and it's like this in britain as well they've been taking statues down all over the place and and it's about destroying your history why do you why do you think the system wants that um, the system wants this because AI, they're wanting this AI grid and they're wanting to connect the human brain to our artificial intelligence. This is called Agenda 2030. It's actually an official document. And by connecting the brain with artificial intelligence, the artificial intelligence gets its, intellig gets its knowledge from the internet. The internet is censored. So the idea is to censor humans, right? And destroy your history, right? That's why they're taking down legends that, that in my in my view, a statue should never be moved. A statue should never be touched. And this is a crime, and all them people that have done that should go to jail. That's what I think. I think anyone that's took part in, I think they should build prison, build, build new prisons, massive prisons, for all the people that took part in taking down those statues. Because I don't think, I think once a statue's up there, historic, even what, it doesn't matter what the person did. Could be a child abuser. But that's a reference point to what happened in our past. That teaches us what not to do. So that's why we should never touch historic monuments. Because it's our history. Right? And I believe this has been done in the past. And we would have no way of knowing it. That's why I don't trust Bibles. I don't, I don't, I um, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in Bibles. The only thing I, I know for sure is what's within my heart and within me. That's the only thing you can trust because it's the only thing we know is real, right? Um, everything outward is made up by somebody and we don't know. This I, This could have been done in the past. We wouldn't know about it. We wouldn't know, would we? So that's something to, something to, um, to think about. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, for latest updates, please do visit my website at www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you for watching and listening.